Peter Chow here. I understand what you are thinking. You are thinking, why is your hair like that? It looks like a hot mess. But I have to tell you, actually, some girls actually might think that it's a little bit cute. But uh, yeah, I don't have any hair product in. If you live in Vancouver, it is absolutely a scorcher today. I'm just not used to it, right, Kiki? You look like a monster. You look like a big gigantic Godzilla like monster. I just want to tell you that. Don't walk away. You might crush some buildings. <laughs> Oh, here she come back again. Oh my god, for more terrorism of the city. Anyway, you know what I want to do right now? I want to thank you guys for coming out to the show last night. My first ever live comedy show. Not first ever, the first one in three years. I went on a little mini tour back in 2010. I did my first stand-up show in front of 1,000 people at the venue. Uh, it's called Venue on Granville Street, Granville Avenue. And uh, it was in front of an amazing comedy crowd. Over 1,000 people were there. It was part of the Global Comedy Festival. And at that time, sorry for the pause. I had to, you know, swallow my saliva. Uh, anyway, I... Um I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I'm just staring at you right now. I'm expecting you to kind of converse with me, but I always forget that I'm vlogging. And you know what vlogging is? Vlogging is essentially talking to a camera when you're all alone. Nobody is with me! So pardon the pause as I am trying to kind of correct my thoughts. But anyway, from that show... There was a lot of success, so I went on this little mini tour. I went to Bellevue. I went to Sacramento, and then I went to San Diego, and I went to the Punchline Comedy Clubs to try to do comedy. And uh, it's very different. If you guys know, if you make YouTube videos, it's very hard to transition from YouTube to the stage, and uh, especially if you're a comedian, because when you edit videos, when you do videos online, you have uh, the tool of editing. You have the, you know, cut this out, cut that out. You have the option. You can have multiple takes and do this and do that. But when you're on stage, that's one take. You go up there and if something goes wrong, if there's a hacker like there was last night, you have to be able to deal with it in an improvisational manner. Yesterday where there was this guy. I, I don't know whether he was from Ireland, but he's Irish. And he gave me a little bit of trouble. I mean, it was my first show. I didn't expect to have to deal with a hacker. I figured, you know, everybody there would be kind of like my fans. And I'm pretty sure he was my fan. It's just that he had a little, you know, too much to drink. So I had to deal with him in an improvisational manner. And being a comedian, you have to be able to do that. You have to think on your feet. You have to just right off the top of the dome be able to kind of include him into the act. Uh, and as far as that is concerned, I believe it was a successful show. Everybody who went had a very good time. I'm glad you guys came out. It was amazing. It was at the review stage. We raised almost, I think it's like $5,000 for the BC SPCA, minus all the venue rental, etc., etc., that matter, you know what I mean? So, my, my heartfelt thank you to everybody who came out last night. I really had a good time. And hopefully this leads to more comedy things. Now, if you did miss me in Vancouver, you still live in the lower mainland area, you want to check out my comedy, you want to come out, have some fun, on July 10, I'm going to be at the Comedy Mix. That's right, in downtown, I believe. Yeah, Comedy Mix is actually quite... You know, a, a big name here in Vancouver. I'm going to do there, you know, go there, talk for about six, seven minutes. So if you want to come by, hang out, take a picture, watch me do my thing, go do that. I mean, the only reason why you would go to that is because you missed my show last night. But, I mean, you can always just come out to support if you want to. So on July 10, I'm going to be there. On July 12, I'm going to be in Surrey. Dirty Surrey. So if you're an Indian and you like brown curry chicken, the smell of armpits with a combination of the Corona, make sure to come out to Surrey. Why? Because I'm hosting a wrestling show. Again for charity. To save the endangered species that is the rhino. 
in South Africa, and we're we're just I'm just doing uh, as as much charity as I can possibly do. I like to give back to my community. So hopefully, come out July 10, I will be at the Comedy Mix. July 12, I will be in Surrey. On August 18, I'm going all the way to Australia for Vid Inc. So get your tickets at vidinc.com.au if you live in the Australia area. <laughs> That's funny. Australia area. Yeah, I'm going to Sydney. It is going to be fun. Lots of people are going to be there. So it's not just me. Lots of people. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot. On August 15, I'm going to be at an event called The Breakthrough in Hong Kong. So make sure to go to that if you're in Hong Kong. Now you know I will be in Hong Kong on August 15. I don't know where you're going to get your updates and all that stuff. I will keep you posted if you live in the Hong Kong area, but I will be there. Uh, and I don't plan to edit this vlog, so if you're bored, too bad! I rough you anyway. Until next time, stop drinking the hater rate and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, Osai, motherfucker. I, I don't know about you. Come out like the chicken wings. Ah, I, I, I kind of wish I had the chicken wings. Now, then we put eggs in. Mm.